I really hate finding a new mosquito bite here in Africa. Let the adventure begin. We're on our way to the town of Kribi, where we're gonna meet the father of a Cameroonian girl that we befriended here. He's a hunter. He, he doesn't live in the town. He lives in the rainforest around 40 kilometers from the town. He hunts at night in the rainforest and uh, we're gonna hunt with him either today or tomorrow and we're gonna hunt, wait for this, a porcupine. In Cameroon, porcupine is considered as a very delicious thing to eat. So I'll leave you several seconds to absorb it. Yeah, we're gonna hunt a porcupine. It's a four hour drive from Cameroon's biggest city, Douala, to Kribi. We arrived safely but only stayed five minutes. at Kribi, our motor driver taxi is here. Everyone's shouting at me that I should stop filming, so let's go 40 kilometers into the rainforest. we headed deep into rainforest to a village called Ajab, populated by less than 500 inhabitants. After a cozy two-hour motor drive, I still don't know how, we arrived. So we arrived uh, at the humble accommodation of Mr. Obamango. We're not gonna catch the porcupine tonight because they don't have the bullets for the guns. So we're gonna catch it tomorrow from 10 p.m. till 6 a.m. There are also poisonous snakes in these rainforests. I really need to sleep. Let's hope it's not gonna be my last night ever. Good morning, it's 10 a.m. and we're going to the rainforest for the first time. Not to see the porcupine, that's gonna happen at night, but uh, just to see the rainforest uh, to get more familiar with it because uh, we're not quite used to rainforests. Uh, as I told you yesterday, there are poisonous snakes and they also told us there would be things falling on our heads. That's why I'm wearing this cap. I'm not sure which one of these two informations uh, is more alarming, but uh, it's gonna be quite an adventure. Let's go. see we are accompanied by two hunters uh, the first one is carrying a machete and a gun and uh, he told us that if we see an animal and uh, we want it he's gonna shoot it which I think uh, we're not gonna use this option I think no let's be nice to all the animals if they want it yeah Teresa really wanted a monkey for lunch but uh, uh, well, if, if they want it for lunch, we cannot argue with them because it's food for them. It's a source of protein. They are dependent on this. They rely on this. But if it's up to us, we're not gonna shoot anything. They told us that was a trap, but couldn't see it. Maybe our eyes are not adapted to the rainforest yet. They saw something. False alarm. Yeah, they saw some monkeys. I think he's gonna hunt the monkeys. I forgot to tell you, uh, in Cameroon, Congo, Gabon, here in the rainforest, they eat basically everything. Everything that lives here is hunted for meat. It's called bush meat, and they eat it, so we just need to adapt. So the hunter didn't find the monkey. Fortunately, or unfortunately, I don't know which word to use. We're at the manioc plantation 
there's plenty of them here it's quite surprising that they are in the middle of a rainforest they're also having these huge circular things called pistache they open them and they use the seeds inside to make a sauce called sauce pistache um, which I had the opportunity to try and I hated it really yeah Our little tour the rainforest is over now, it took about an hour and a half. A little biological fact, nothing's really going on in the rainforest during daytime. All the animals are either sleeping or hiding. That's why we're getting back here at night to hunt the porcupine. Yeah, this is like our sixth time in the rainforest already and, and I can tell you nothing's really going on during daytime here. After returning to Ajap, the enthusiasm for the porcupine hunt was replaced with fear. No porcupine hunt thing today. I was feeling a bit off since the morning and I finally checked my temperature and it's 37.9 degrees Celsius, which may be malaria. And since we're in a very small remote village with a very, very small hospital, we opted for the option of going to, to a bigger city. Uh, it's gonna take two and a half hours. And uh, I'm gonna hope it's not malaria. It started raining after like 10 kilometers, so 30 more kilometers to go. We're waiting for the rain to stop. We're inside the bar and uh, I still feel pretty good, but I need to get to a hospital quickly to be sure that I have or I don't have malaria. I think the rain stopped, but there's some problem we're waiting. We're currently in front of the hospital. A lot of people are crying here, which which creates a really, really bad atmosphere. And uh, I have to tell you that I don't have malaria. They did the tests and I'm malaria free, thank God. I went immediately to the, uh, to the urgent care. They did the tests. It's probably something with the stomach. We're going to a hotel. So one last take before sleep. It's 1 a.m. Thank God I don't have malaria. Let's see what's gonna happen with this episode tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. I am not giving up. We didn't catch the porcupine yesterday, but we are going to attempt to find it in a cooked form and eat it. My stomach's not doing really good, but this is probably the only time in my life where I have the opportunity to try to eat a porcupine. The search for porcupine meat was never ending. Some people didn't know what I was talking about and some sent me into a completely different direction. But after two hours we finally spotted a lady behind several large pots. One of them was hiding this bizarre Cameroonian delicacy. <laughs> We have eaten a, a, a cookie made entirely out of flies. Snails, huge snails that tasted horrible in Benin. I tasted surströming, I tasted the hottest chili pepper in the world. Some caterpillars, some, insects. Yes, yeah, some insects and caterpillars. And uh, this is another thing that's gonna end up in our stomachs. Since we are in the French part of Cameroon, I should say Bon Appetit. It's, uh, it's kind of bitter. It's bitter. It's like a deer combined with a rat. I've never eaten a rat, but I suppose a rat would taste almost like this. There's a touch of venison here. Yeah, it tastes like venison. Yeah, but like a rat venison. I don't like it. You can have if it all. I wouldn't see this claw. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. If I didn't know, if I didn't know it was a porcupine, I would probably eat it. But knowing that this is a fucking porcupine, 
I just cannot eat it. I'd rather have a banana, which is pretty good. Mm. This is pretty good. And a beer, of course. Alright, I guess uh, that's it for today's episode. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed it more than we enjoyed this meat. Oh, the smell. So without further ado, I hope you liked this episode and uh, see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye.